It's probably a good idea to jettison these things, so I don't think you're going to need these tonight. They're probably going to be A, in the way of you and your camera. There's not going to be a lot of sun. No. Okay, so we want a taxi. We just let our feet off the brakes, and we go straight out, intercept what used to be the yellow line, which is just beyond that craft. So we're in that little rut, and as soon as you get moving, you got it. That's all there is to it. I can... My brakes feel good right here. I got yeah. good pressure. Yeah, feels good to me. I usually am testing my brakes the whole time. Somebody, you can see this right here. Somebody had a headset or their watch on, and they tried to clean the window and uh, really fucked up the inside of this plastic bed. You, the pedals are me. No, I'm not on it. Okay. So I'll just I let don't know you. why. The right one is just really So just, uh, if you just use a little break, maybe you can get right back on it, but. So you, you got like a wheelbarrow tire with a huge amount of friction you're trying to turn, so if the plane's not moving, it's going to seem impossible. It'd be like if you well, had it. Won't, it won't turn till you're moving either. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly how it works. So imagine you have a, uh, you know, grand piano sitting on a wheelbarrow and you're trying to turn the wheelbarrow. It's just so much load on it until it starts moving. Let him taxi a little or? Yeah, you can pull out there. He's he's going to be long gone. But yeah, just, just be uh, generally courteous, but you don't have to be overly courteously. But I try to make sure that there's spacing and that you're not cutting anybody off and not doing anything that's deliberately going to look like you're a dick out here, right? There's plenty of people doing that stuff out here. You don't have to. You don't have to join those ranks. So a little bit of right rudder. Here. I got it all the way down. Huh? That's weird. That's so I I feel like you were on maybe pushing the brake a little bit. So no, I'm heeled down. And you're pushing it forward though, not just you're not just going like that, right? Here, I'm gonna stop for a second. And so that's a right brake you right. decide on. Yeah. Now when I'm I'm pushing. Yeah, let me just straighten this thing out for you. Yeah, I don't want you to be frustrated because this, this like frustrates the hell out of everyone for the first couple hours. And I was with a guy the other day. He's like three hours, four hours into this. He totally forgot about this. And he was in this plane too. Um, so I'm just going to, no brake. I'm just pushing forward. But I got to have some power in order to turn this thing. It does turn easier to the left. I will, oh, yeah. I will give you that. But it feels stiffer though, the pedal, for me. Yeah, I think there's more, I think there's more range on the left. Point W, Cessna 2 forward, departing runway 19, staying in the pattern, point you know W. Next time you go out, um, I mean, th honestly, this plane, is, the reason I like this plane the best is um, it actually has pretty decent amount of lighting in here. So if, if I'm ever going somewhere at night, this plane has the most panel lighting. And I'm, when I say most, it's kind of embarrassing how little it has, but it, it's the safest one at night, I think. Yankee Tango is number two. Now, heels are on the floor. And, I mean, you just, you move your whole foot this way, or do you just? Well, you, I move my foot as much as I need to turn that little nose wheel. That thing's just running on some linkage and cable, so. I know there's a spring on it, too, yeah. which also Yep, exactly, exactly. You just, just play with it. You, don't let it overly frustrate you, though, because um, in about a week or two weeks, you're never going to think about this again. I told you, this is like driving to the Wawa for a cup of coffee. You're never going to think about, you know, what my right and left foot do anymore. Not on the ground, because you're already pa taxing perfectly down. So now now we got a little bit of power in, so we're and we're going downhill a little bit. You can just slow yourself down and get back on the center line. You do have to be careful with the brakes, because I think that's the most, w, Cessna zero, two, four, turning the most common p thing people do is they go to turn and they accidentally hit the front of the pedal and the brakes, and now we're doing like this really hard right or hard left in the nose. I think it being tricycle gear also throws you off because you're so used to four wheels. I, I did this when I was like 18 or 19 years old the first time, and I swear, I don't think... I don't think I actually knew how to taxi or land the plane until I was about 30. Point 
It just was such an oddball thing, like learning how to drive a car, and then some guy says, you know, you're steering this thing with your feet, and we're going 60 or 70 miles an hour. And I got it down pretty good there. So already, you seem like, you know, and you can tell that the momentum is your friend here, in, unless you're about to hit something. So when we go here, I like to go, I think I told you this. Yeah, but just keep an eye on your wheel, because if you put your wheel in the grass, like, bad things happen yeah. when it gets wet. So we'll just go, yeah, we want to be about 45 degrees. So most of the time, some guy's going to come flying across here in his car. Another plane wants to get by us. So this puts you in a good position. If there's any helicopters or other airplanes or somebody straight in, you got good view. The only thing we didn't do is you feel like you got, you feel the left rudder is all the way up, so we want to neutralize that. So we'll just move up and neutralize it. So now the wheel is pointing straight ahead. Yeah. And when we start to move again, there won't be a big drag. Okay. So now we want to get on the brakes. You should probably put the brake on. I, I've been telling people not to because my mechanic told me that it just destroys the brakes, but. Okay, so we're down to here. Uh, sorry. Engine run up, so we already did that. Parking brake set, cabin doors, mine's closed. I'm going to keep my window up until we're ready. Okay. Elevator trim is set for takeoff. Flight controls. iPads are usually the. I'm actually going to move my seat back one notch. I ordered a yoke mount a week ago and still hasn't gotten here yet. So I don't know. My. I hardly ever use the brakes when I'm landing, but I feel like I can get to them. I feel like I'm back. Somebody jacked this seat up is the problem. Anyway. See the track line? What's that? See the track line? Yeah, you know what? Um, to the south of us now. I turned this really up bright too, so that's kind of, that's probably looking at the very tops of it. Flight controls, free and correct, fuel quantity, tanks look full. You checked it. Did you check it after he filled it? I didn't. Okay. Well, when I topped it off, yes. Okay. Only Mixture. Full rich. And that you know this thing's threaded, right? So when when you want to lean the mixture. So whenever somebody's coming in here, I just like to know if the guy's going to land on my head or not. So just keep an eye on him out, out of your corner of your eye. We're well out of his way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, some kid in a 152 that just started soloing might land on your head sometime. Might have like one second to like pop the door and jump out. Um, throttle to 1700 RPMs. Wait for him or? Uh, I mean, unless you're gonna let go of the brakes. Um, we got the parking brake on too. I'm gonna. We got what? We got the parking brake on too. Yeah, so I just get on the brakes and he looks fine. She, whoever it is. 1700. Yep. It says lean mixture. So if you really want to do that, you usually pull it out a little bit. And we're looking for an RPM drop. So you can just twist this out. It's going up. It's going up. It's going to go up at first, then it, there's the drop, so we'll screw it back in a little bit. That's leaned right there. It's going to help burn some carbon off. In. The problem with leaning this is this isn't how we're going to depart. We're, so I think this leaning is mostly for higher altitude airports. So we're going to check the magnetos now. Right. Yeah, you're going two clicks left and then two clicks back. You're just looking for the drop. Now one click to the left. Looking for the drop and then you should make sure you're back on both. Back on both. You're checking the uh, ammeter, the voltage light's not on, your suction gauge is just barely in the green. Carb heat? Carb heat, yep. Should be a small job. You don't want any real roughness here. And then throttle back to idle. Then you want to make sure that friction lock is comfortable, that it's not going to just like slide out on you. And then you're going to release the parking brake. South Jersey land centering left downwind 08. South we Jersey. got flaps as required. Um, we're going to leave those alone today. Trim wheel set for takeoff. So there's a lot of redundancy here. Mixture full rich, carb heat off. And this is like where we check to not Light. kill ourselves. Lights, we can put uh, nav lights on. We can put strobe on. We can put a landing light on. So. 
Yep. And one more, this is the landing. Oh, that's taxi, that's landing, What's I believe. One here? That's uh, beacon, tail oh, beacon. That's on. Yep. You're all set. That's all your lights. Fuel valve is on both. This is something that's really important. Heading indicator says 040. Um, and that was in the squawk book that this is precessing all the time, and that's because that vacuum pump sucks. Transponder, out tim uh, sorry, at squawking altitude and 1200 is our VFR code. Time I have in here. So I told you the other day, I like to like be at this point ready to take off from the minute you start the engine till we're leaving. Unless something's going wrong, like efficiency is somewhere around seven or eight minutes. I just don't want you to be wasting money. So you'll notice we're, I think we took like 12 or 13 the last time. Mm -hmm. We're going to be down pretty quickly because we're talking about stuff. Rotate 85, uh, sorry, rotate 55, climb out 76. That's just a standard VY. If you close your window. Okay, I'm going to turn this radio back up. So we want to make sure our radio is on COM1 because that's the radio we're using here today and 1228. Radio check 1228, flying W. I reach 11, clear. Thank you. Flying W traffic, 62862, departing runway 19, flying W. Okay, let's get out of here. I didn't, sorry, I didn't see this guy behind me. We're just going to put in, whoop, whoop, whoop. just a little bit of rudder, there you go. I had it all the way down. Weird. Yeah, so when we're not moving, nothing's happening. It's just cable. The cable, I guess, has no, let's slow down here, slow down here a little bit. So I feel like you might have your foot on the brake a well, little bit. that time bit. I did. Okay. So let's just get lined up so we don't want any feet on the brakes right now. Let's just roll the plane. There we go. So that's pretty long.